So today I'm going to talk about this bike one uh, or big big one um, bottom bracket and why I think it's a bad design. This is my own bottom bracket. It's been fitted to my mountain bike for probably about five or six months and uh, it's failed. Uh, the bearing has failed. Now what it is is a two part push fit uh, bottom bracket and the two parts slide together. It has nice uh, rubber uh, o-rings that are keeping water out um, and it has this is the exploded view where I've taken the bearing out of the casing uh, this is the bearing here and then it has this top hat thing that fits inside the bearing here uh, to give this completed view that we have here problem is is the bearings on both sides have failed and we're going to find out that actually these bearings uh, are not quite what they claim to be so uh, let's get started with a with a couple of observations the first is that um the 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 the, the structure and the design is such that it's it's a 24 mil hollow tech uh, and it has this top hat this thing that sits through the, the center of the bearing the other problem that we have here is that this bearing if i can zoom in closely enough you may be able to see that this bearing claims to be a 6805RS. Uh, let's zoom back out. That's the good side of the bearing. This is the side that's failed. Now, a 6805RS is a standard bearing size. Uh, rubber seal 6805 with an internal diameter of 25 millimeters, an, out, an out, outer diameter, outside diameter of 37 millimeters, and a depth of seven millimeters. Pay particular attention to this number here. 37 millimeters because if I measure the outside of this bearing here using my calipers uh, decent quality calipers we can see that the actual measurement is 36 millimeters so that doesn't fit with any of the guidelines the internal diameters all match up and the width matches up but that 36 millimeters and if we look particularly closely at this bearing, we can see that the outer race here, the outer side of the bearing here is very, very thin. Now, my thinking, I've looked high and low for a 6805 with a 36mm outside diameter. My thinking is that this has been somehow um, ground down or machined to take a millimetre off the outside. The other problem, I think, fundamentally, is that these top hats that sit inside the bearing uh, are creating a situation where the water is sitting in behind them. So I ride my bike in all weathers. And in fact, I rode them London to Brighton off-road this year and it rained for five hours. And my thinking is that the water sits in behind this top hat section here and actually sits against the, the frame, it sits against the, the, the rubber seal of the bearing and causes a sort of capillary action. So this is, you know, the, the, the water gets pulled in. If this is flush against the bearing, that flat edge is flush against the bearing, you're going to get a capillary action. And so what I'm seeing here is that this bearing is absolutely shot to pieces. Um, let me have a quick... See if we can zoom in and we can see the bad side of it. I've actually cleaned it up quite significantly, but the bearing is uh, is done. And it's, it's, let's just zoom out a little bit. I'll zoom in just a bit more. It's grainy and rough and sticky and horrible. Um, so, after only a few months, we have a failed uh, bottom bracket. The major problem is, is that you cannot buy or at least I cannot find bearings with this dimension with a 25 inner, a 36 outer and a 7 mil width. So um, not great in terms of being able to replace these bearings with perhaps better ones. Uh, these bearings are unmarked. It, it just is for me, this is now um, junk. It has to go in the bin. So um, fairly disappointed. Uh, should have bought a hope. And, uh, and, and put that in. But um, let me know what you think. I'm happy to discuss.